Celebrating Black History. Brought to you by McDonald's, Citizens Energy Group, Indiana Funeral Care, Harming Kitchen, Eskenazi Health, Barbecue Heaven, Cornerstone Construction, and Bose McKinney Evans. Well, all month long, we are celebrating black history. And tonight, we take a look back. 100 years ago, Madam C.J. Walker started building the foundation of a hair care empire. It was a major feat for a black woman in the 18th and 19th century. Trust me, I'm very thankful mm -hmm. for this one. And over the years, the hair products were discontinued. But now they're back with a new look, but with the same name. News Aid's multicultural reporter, Katir Winfrey, has this story. Katir, you know we do not play about our hair products. We do not. It's been very important back then and even right now. Now, over the last few years, there's been a resurgence in the stories and knowledge coming out about Madam C.J. Walker's life that's been part of her great-great-granddaughter's plan for 50 years. I spoke to her, and she says, this is Madam Walker's moment. There are secrets and stories in these strands worth securing. Madam by Madam C.J. Walker line of hair care products is now in aisles around the country. This work is an ode to Alelia Bundle's great, great grandmother. She was really focused on women having healthy scalps so that there would be a great environment for their hair to grow, for them to have healthy hair. And that was the, the DNA of what we were trying to achieve. Madam Walker gained wealth and recognition as a black businesswoman during a time where something like that could seem impossible. And that wealth sparked even more advocacy and philanthropy. I think this is Madam C.J. Walker's moment. In recent years, Madam Walker's theater has undergone a massive renovation. Also a movie on Walker's life based on a book written by Bundles aired on Netflix. This is one more step letting a new generation of people learn of Walker's legacy. But with a century's worth of research and development and science and technology, so that we're taking her idea, revolutionizing it and updating it for the 21st century. Bundle says not only is this Walker's time, it's time for black women. Hair discrimination still exists and despite that, more women are embracing their natural hair textures. The goal is that women of color should be able to express themselves and they should be able to wear their hair the way it grows. She says Madam Walker paved the way in so many ways and it's important for women to continue that tradition. It makes it easier for the average woman to do that when we see uh, women who are federal judges and women who are CEOs of corporations wearing their hair natural, it does set a standard. And Madam Walker's home in New York has also been labeled a historic site and will become a gathering place for women entrepreneurs. Now back here in Indy, the Madam Walker Legacy Center's grand reopening is scheduled for June. Reporting in the studio, I'm with TV News 8's multicultural reporter, Katira Winfrey.